Whether you're looking for answers to specific life questions or seeking to become the best version of you possible, welcome to the Mental Breakdown and Psych Reg podcast, where we offer insight, information, and strategies based upon research and years of practice as clinical psychologists. So sit back, have a listen, and get connected with our hosts, Dr. Bernie Wilkinson and Dr. Richard Marshall. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about praise. There's an article that was written in, and published in Real Simple at realsimple.com by, uh, written by Amanda McMillan, and the title is, This is How Much Praise Kids Really Need. That's a very courageous title. It is. You know, it's like there's so much written about praise. You know, yeah. we teach we teach praise to pre-service teachers, to counselors, to psychologists, mm-hmm. and it's, and then there's a whole subset of people who think, man, we praise kids way too much. That's that's right. It's a it's really a complicated topic, and there's a there's a lot of controversy, mm-hmm. difference of opinions, and so when you run into an article that says this is how much praise kids really need, I'm thinking. Wow, that's a very courageous statement. It's an to make. ambitious undertaking. And so then you have to read on and say, on what basis mm-hmm. do they make this decision? Right. Yeah. So in, in this article, she talks about a uh, a, a variety of, um, of of research and programs and different things, mm-hmm. um, but a, a lot of it is from the United Kingdom. Right. Um, and from is it is it pronounced De Montfort? I think it's De Montfort. De Montfort mm-hmm. University in right. England. Um, and they talk to, you know, a group of parents, 38 right. parents, um, who have kids between the ages of two and four years old, mm-hmm. and ask them about, you know, um, ask them to be cognizant of how much praise they're giving their kids, right. ask them mm-hmm. to to sort of keep track of how much they're interacting and engaging with their kids. Right. And the results are, I, I don't know that I would say the results are surprising, but the results are certainly interesting they were i mean it's, a, it's an interesting approach they had the um, parents chart right. right they had right how many times did you praise your child mm-hmm. um on a particular on each day right right and um and and they they uh they kept track mm-hmm. on these on these charts so that um, they could collect the data at the end of the project they did two to four year olds right you know this young group of kids and when they found well they they, they, they tracked the praise, the amount, the number of times they praised, but they also tracked the kid's behavior and well-being and sort of to look at how well the child, how compliant the child was and how, you know, how their mood was and how much, how well they paid attention and those kinds of things. Right. I think the three, the three variables, the three main variables was, and one of them was hyperactivity and inattention, which, which is, surprised me. Which is interesting. Right. Yeah. And the other was their general emotional... Right state mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and the third was um just their overall behavior right okay how mm-hmm. compliant and right. cooperative and all that so so sort of overall behavior emotional well-being and um hyperactivity and inattention right okay so on those three variables so they they did this over the course of several weeks and from what the article says after four weeks the parents who said that they praised their kids at least five times a day right. Right. saw an improvement in their kids' overall well-being, right. as well right. as reduced levels of hyperactivity and impulsivity, mm-hmm. and just their overall behavior right. significantly improved. Right. Or was and, better than those who didn't and praise that was, many times. And what was surprising about this, you know, parents always want to know, what, what can I do to get, you know, to improve, uh, for my children to improve? And this is four weeks. Mm-hmm. That's really short. Right. Right. I mean... When you think you're getting this kind of noticeable change right. after four weeks of just praising your children, that's pretty impressive. Right. Now, as there are with all studies, right. there's a few concerns, things that we should think about with this. Mm-hmm. First off, they didn't have a group of parents who praised their child five or more times a week ver- ver- a day versus those who didn't. What they had was parents who... Um, charted and paid attention to the number of times right. they praised their kids and those who didn't keep track of those things. Right. So th- the difference there is is pretty How? important. Right. Because what we're talking about is we're talking about parents who are very cognizant of the number of times that they praise their kids right. versus those who aren't really paying attention to that. That's not to say that those parents didn't pay attention, didn't praise their child five or more times. It's just saying that they didn't 
um, attend to that. They right. didn't keep track of that. And another concern is you have a subset. If parents are willing to keep track, that's a subset. Right. And if they're keeping track of this, they right. might be more mindful of everything else that they're doing. Right. Because we don't have the actual study. Right. Um, and, right. and we're trying to find it. Right. Um, we'll locate it eventually. We can't get it. Mm -hmm. um, because it just says it's published in a peer-reviewed journal. Right. We don't know. It didn't really say which journal that mm -hmm. was. So the, uh, but the idea is that, you know, they weren't, we don't know that they were randomly assigned, right. meaning that you know, this group of parents were told mm -hmm. do this. Right. We just know that the parent, there was a group of parents who did keep track of that mm -hmm. stuff. So right. those limitations are important though, because as you said, parents who are willing to and, and capable of keeping track of those things may be different than parents and people who aren't able to do that or choose right. not to do that. Right. So we may be talking about two different groups of parents. Right. And then of course the, but I think the, the main message of this study, um, of this article, is that a, li a little bit of praise can, re right. can produce pretty substantial changes right. in a child's behavior. Right. Um, it's free. It's easy to do. Mm -hmm. It's better for everybody. You can do it um, anytime. Do it anytime. Mm -hmm. Now, there are all kinds of questions about... What should you praise and how do you how praise, do you praise mm -hmm. and can you overdo praise? Right. There, we And we acknowledge that, that you'll have all those questions. But I think that the take-home message here is um, a little bit of praise could have fairly substantial consequences. It, it, it could produce fairly substantial changes mm -hmm, in your mm -hmm. child's emotional well-being as well as behavior. Right. So um, if you're not praising often, and I know some parents... Who feel that it's, I I worry about parents who feel that it's their obligation to be critical mm -hmm, and to mm -hmm. be, um, you know, holding their children to a high standard. Right. And I'm the disciplinarian. Um, you're also the person who should be praising right. your children. So find things to praise, praise liberally at least five times a day. Right. Or, well, you know, it's interesting that it's five. Yeah. Because in our book, How the... we have <laughs> the five to one ratio where we, we talk about the importance. I did. It's an activity that we have in our in, in our book that says, you know, for every negative, mm -hmm. uh, for every, um, you know, redirection or reprimand or, or um, negative Criticism, statement right. you say, mm -hmm. say to your child, you need to balance that with five positives. Right. When, as I was reading this um piece, I thought about Russ Barkley. Mm -hmm. And I thought, isn't it interesting that he has that four or five to one ratio? Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, there was another point, but I forgot. I've lost it. You lost so it? I did. I did. You'll remember it later. Yeah. On the next one. Yeah. What was the other one? I can't remember. Yeah. So, all right. So, praise your kids. You know, don't find a balance. Don't overdo it. Don't, right. um, you know, praise them for unworthy. For not, that's things. right. And um, and don't forget that you also have the obligation to set limits and, and boundaries redirect. and you know um, so you, you, there's a balance here right. between praise and reprimand. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So all right, that is it for today. So right. until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, and forget to be afraid.